A lot of the venues I fish tend to be very heavily pressured and I'm always looking for something that's going to give me an edge. Recently I've been playing around a lot with natural baits, one of them being casters. I've come up with a little rig to fish casters. It involves a small piece of zig rig foam and I've super glued four fake casters around the outside of it and made a nice little balanced rig to go inside the PVA bag. I fish the rig inside a large bulk PVA bag of casters and I tend to fish them on the clear spots. Um, one of the reasons that casters seem to be very effective is initially is the visual factor. They're very sort of bright and in your face and the fish can see them and once they do feed on them it's something different, something that they tend to have probably not seen before and it has one hell of a crunch factor. I think once they get in and start feeding on it the casters are all crunching up and it releases all their natural juices and it seems to really work. Another reason why casters might be an advantage over maggots is because they don't crawl away like the maggots might do. The maggots might crawl into the silt whereas the casters will just lay there and have a nice little pile of bait on the clear spot ready for the fish to eat. Although this bag does look very big and has a three and a half ounce lead in it, by the time I've rounded off the corners and made it aerodynamic, I can still cast it in excess of 60 yards with great accuracy. Another tip is, when I'm tying up my PVA bags, I always pull the hook point through the bottom of the bag. This stops it from penetrating the caster, which means it will pop the caster, and the caster will melt the PVA bag. Also, you don't want to cast the rig out and have a caster stuck on the end of the hook point, because this will make the, the rig totally ineffective. Another bait, natural bait, that I've done really well on in recent times is squats. Now these are like red maggots, but they're a lot smaller. One of the main reasons squats are so effective is because they're about as close as you're going to get to bloodworm, which is the carp's favourite natural food. The little rig that I've designed to fish over the squats involves cutting up some bloodworm red maggots and again, similar to the caster rig, I just glue it to a little bit of rig foam just to make a nice little balanced rig. And that camouflage is in very nicely with the squats. I fish this rig inside a mini PVA bag. Now I can cast this a very long way um, and although it looks like a small PVA bag, by the time it breaks down, there's so many little squats in there, it gives a real nice spread that probably imitates a nice little bed of bloodworm. So there we have it, two very underused baits, squat and caster, both very effective that will give you a massive edge and add a new dimension to your PVA bag fishing.